action! Cheers, and welcome to Chicago Reacts Anime. I am Lauren, and today I'm going to be looking at Season 3, Episode 12 of Overlord. Uh, this episode is called Massacre, so I'm not anticipating a happy ending to this episode, but then again, we are getting to the very end of Season 3, so I'm imagining some some deaths of some beloved side characters and honestly everyone who is a human in this is a side character in my head um so i'm like i'm just i'm just i'm curious to see where this is gonna go i have absolutely no idea really what to expect i know that lots of people are planning on double crossing other people but most of them are aware of the fact that they are gonna be double crossed so they're not worried about i'm like oh my gosh there's so there's layers within layers within layers within layers here um Anyway, I'm excited to watch this. I hope you are too. If you want to see uncut reactions, you can do that by joining our Patreon. Uh, that way you get these reactions early and you get them unedited. You get to see the entire watch along with me. Um, and then you could also help us out by subscribing to the channel by giving this video a big thumbs up. Um, and you could also look at our other channels too. We've got a couple. Um, those are in the description box below. You can always take a peek and see what we're doing on other areas of the site. So, I really don't wanna like waste too much time here. I wanna get into this episode. The battle begins. I like that he's already being like, guys, don't underestimate him. Like, we've had an issue in this series with um the with Ainz and crew being underestimated before. And this these are not actually helping um any different, I think. Um, but like we've had an issue with uh, everyone underestimating these folks before. And I I'm appreciating that the Emperor is trying not to. He's like, no, I think we can assume that they can probably just wreck our crap. Mm. All right, and I'm gonna. This is the last time I'm gonna stop for a minute, but I'm just gonna say they could beat Ainz with ingenuity, but not the Demiurge. <laughs> like he's not wrong about saying, "Well, we could beat him with ingenuity," it's, and like again, we know that there are people in this world who have the power to like mess their stuff up. Uh, like Shaltier got, got wrecked by that one lady, um, with the church, uh, Cauticus like would have lost, um, ultimate, like based on what he had and what he was doing. Like we know to the lizard guys. So it's like, we know that these people can be defeated, but if you, uh, I don't trust her. Um, so we do know that this world has the power to defeat these people in certain aspects. I'm just saying. He's not going to outthink the Demiurge, I don't think. <laughs> He'll definitely, he could definitely outthink Ainz. I've outthought Ainz. And I don't know anything about this world. <laughs> it's like, hmm, okay. Uh, so this is uh, maybe where we're coming. He's getting excited. で。すでに最終勧告は終わり、海戦となったはずなのに、帝国軍に動きはない。陛下、帝国軍は6万程度、対する我らが軍勢は4倍の24万。これはもう楽勝ですな。このまま帝国本土に攻め入るのも一級か
so sweet. You have become the treasure of the kingdom. He's a sweet talker. Okay, so there must have been more time passing in this uh world than I realized because like I remember like in season two or what oh my god. Um I remember that in like season two, um like he did did seem to be really angling for the throne with the the annoying prince. Um but yeah, you know, you know, the younger prince. Uh but now I love that he's just like casually admitting to treason. He's like, oh yeah, one time I wanted the throne. I guess I'm he never actually says I don't want that anymore. <laughs> レヴンコ。はい、この元冒険者たちを地球を集めてほしい。彼らの知恵をレヴンコ。見ましたか。さあ、they're okay, right. I forgot that he's still looking for people who would know him and like would be from his world. Like I forgot that that's what he's still kind of trying to do. Like in the I th in the meantime he's down with like taking over this world, but like ultimately he's still trying to find people from Yggdrasil, like from the real world as well. But I forgot I forget. I forget that that's what he's looking for. <laughs> Oh, ho, ho, ho. Holy shit. All dip. Dosta Nimbo. Sbarashi Mahodesa. Sbarashi Mahodesta. So it done. He's like, You ain't seen nothing yet. He's okay. So it's like, yeah. Miss Bell's not oh you thought that was Marvel? Mm. You know. Miss Bell's not even over, boo. Like, relax. Chill out. <laughs> it's just kind of funny. Zetsubo. <laughs> Ugh, there's those mouths again. And it is so interesting to me that the, these are like a very different animation style than like, like that black sphere and like everything. They're different animation style than everything else. And like, it kind of makes sense because they're from an otherworldly dimension, but like, dip, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, yeah, thanks. I'm so great. Look at that. Look what I did. And everyone's like, oh, good job. And he's like, I oh, know. That's fantastic. <laughs> he's like, look at me go. Ha ha ha. And it's like, you got the like Lord Nimble over here or whatever. He's like, and we're thinking about double crossing him. No. <laughs> Okay. So he's giving four people that he doesn't want to get hurt. People who are here? Is that 
what he's talking about? Or is he talking about in general? Because if he's just going to let them go raise the countryside, then we might be worried about Nephi and uh, Chief Lady. But if we're only talking about here, the only one I can maybe... Kudzraf? Reinforced armor, lesser strength. I mean, if that's all you got, go for it. But you think that you think that now is the time to burn some of them spell slots, dude. Kimito <laughs> Like, bruh, buddy boy, you came here to be in a war. I mean, I guess this is different than, like, what he was, ex like, but still. Like, you would have been okay, I think, if they you'd killed the entire army, right? Oi, <laughs> I love that Brain has just become like a like big brother brain. Uh, and like ever since he's like, you know what, actually? It's cool if I die. I'm not too scared. I'm not scared of it anymore. He's just like, whatever. He's just like, he's become just so chill. <sighs> Yep. All right. So he's one of the four. I thought he must be one of the four because, like, it's just gonna let him pass. It's gonna pass him by. He's just like, hey, you got reasonably powerful. Ah, oh, what in the world is happening with my life? It's just it's like his whole demeanor. So wonky. It's hilarious. So these three, I think, are actually pro this, these three and maybe Mr. Master Raven. Just, I'm just trying to remember, like, the people that Ainz has made various alliances with throughout the series. And, like, these are some of them. There's a couple of things here that he could do. One, I, like, I feel like the character himself probably wouldn't... It's, it's just, like, what, what do I think that this character would do? And I don't know him that well, unfortunately. We haven't spent enough time with him, like, to get a j f jive for it. Because, like... One, obviously, if he says yes, and then, like, I just, like, gets rid of the goats, he saves a lot of people, or at least potentially saves a lot of people. And he can potentially work from the inside, which is, like, the smart thing to do. But sometimes people are like, I'm too noble slash loyal, whatever. I won't give up, like, that. So, like, he seems like the kind of character who might go that route, even though that way always ends in more destruction. It's like, you're not really being disloyal. You're actually saving people. But a lot of the times these kind of characters don't 
take it that way. So I'm be curious. I'm curious. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I mean, I kind of, like I said, I was kind of sure that he was not going to accept. Because, again, it's just like, my dude, it's not disloyalty. Like, <laughs> it just isn't. Like, you're doing, so it might like seem like it's like you agreed to do this this terrible thing but like you'll be say you save lives in doing so like how is that disloyal it's like you're still protecting your king you're still protecting your king buddy like they ugh. see it's just like it's a i don't know like that kind of character i'm just always like it doesn't make sense to me <laughs> um I always it just it just doesn't it never has uh and and people do that all the time and it's supposed to be super noble and like oh they're the good guys like they weren't swayed it's like it wasn't being swayed by evil like you I mean you'll die and lots of other people will die like other in this in the other situation you won't die and maybe you can save a lot more people I don't I don't know. Maybe I'm a terrible person, but like, that's always what I've thought. Like, and that's sort of like the, I don't know that. I mean, maybe I'm a bad person for that sort of mentality, but I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Am I bad for that? Oh Lord. All right. Well, <laughs> in any case, we're going to have a duel to the death, I guess. So Sayonara Gez Gezref. Gezref. I don't know any of these people's names. I know Climb and Brain because, um, though they, they don't make any sense as like names, they are at least words that I know. So I remember those names and I remember Eins and I remember Mar. Mara? No, I can't even say, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. So I can't even say that. I remember some of the names, but not most of them. Well, we're going to have an interesting battle in the next episode, it looks like. I wonder if we're going to get some um, clarification on like what happened with uh, Karn Village. Like, I wonder if we're going to see a resolution for that as well. Um, and I need to see Renner's, like... I need to see a resolution to that as well. She, I, she scares me. I want to understand what's dealing, what is happening there don't understand what's happening. <laughs> I need to know. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for joining me. If you want to see the uncut versions of these episodes, then you can do that by joining our Patreon for $5 a month. Um, and you also get these videos early, which is exciting for you. Um, and uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You could also subscribe to our other channels. The links to them are in the description box below. Um, and we will see you in the next one. Thank you.